you know, by the way, like Don Rickles, beloved by everyone, uh, you know, he he was the master at that too. But sure. he had an act. But he was also bringing light. I don't know. It That's sounds- true. There's no, a clip like- I just saw of Rickles. I believe roasting Shirley MacLaine. She was old as hell in this clip. So was he. He must yeah. have been in his eighties, and he's roasting everyone in the room. And it's cool to see everyone like, "Get me, get yeah, me." Yeah, yeah. It's right. w- it's rare to see that now. Now it's gotten so vicious with the roasts that a part of it's like, "Fuck, what are they? Gonna, are they going to bring up like?" The, yeah, it was a delicate them. touch. I was. I did. Uh, Bob Saget had this. He Bob Saget is like has a, an amazing relationship with everybody in the entertainment industry and he's the nicest person he's the nicest he's a great guy at at this benefit he had queen latifah uh (laughs) you know a lot of range don don rickles (laughs) wow john mayer wow and you're like sitting there and i did a set and i'm sitting next to and then some i don't know like someone who started the movie industry you know what i mean it's It's, got goldwyn mayer and so don rickles was orson wells here they walked over and they gave him a a microphone and he just started making fun of everyone and it was just like the best i think i think geraldo was an incredible roaster i love it i i do think what you're saying is now they with like the pop you know popularity of things like roast battle a lot of those comics are like two years in Right. And they don't have an act. They don't have a self-deprecating joke about themselves, but they've got five minutes on some dude they've never met. Yeah. And they're going up at the comedy store. So that to me, that's like... But I guess if it's if it's writing, it is it is productive. And it's, it's a way to write. get in. And for Greg, it was like the roasts were huge. So that was selling tickets on huge. the road for and his act. Was, he was, you know, you know, I have this theory about Greg, is that, you know... Uh, what you have to understand is that like and this is my perspective completely is that greg Duranto was brilliant uh and i don't say that in a cute way like he was a really smart guy yeah. oh yeah so he was like his parents were both immigrants he got into regis harvard he, law harvard columbia. law columbia scholarship all the way worked for like the biggest law firm in the world gave it all up uh, you know, to pursue stand up. He was so and, pure at this. And, and and what I think the the amount of failure and humiliation, he, you know, I don't know, but like it almost was like it took its toll on him harder because he's like, all I do is win. And and that was not his personality. His personality was not like I win. Right. It was just the track record. Like he could go into a club. He was he was engaging. He was not a sycophant. He he had a confidence and a rapport. Whether it was Long Island or or the Upper East Side, he could connect with yeah. all these types of people. So like when and I was there when he got his sitcom deal, and the you know it's more of like how the level of cruelty the In entertainment business, yeah. industry is. Mm-hmm. Like he had a manager, not a manager, an agent that was his agent that you know plucked him out of uh uh you know uh montreal and then within two years he saw her at a restaurant and she acted like she didn't know him damn wow. 